Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jay, Florida Suburban Dad. Um, it is Monday. Beautiful out. Sunshine. I have about 83 today. Clear skies. A little puffy cloud here or there. Beautiful out. Humidity's down. Coming in that fall weather. There's a weather report. It's gorgeous out. Now, I am on my way back towards the home front. And I am coming to you today because... The topic of today is something I see on my channel and I get questions about all the time is, is Florida expensive or is it cheap or is it both? I mean, everyone hears all the, you know, it's, this is more expensive, this is cheaper. The, everyone hears all that stuff about down here. I'm going to give you my opinion, what I've seen in the five, over five years I've been down here and what I know from back up in New York or what I've known of the Northeast and back and forth. And I'll let you guys compare back and compare what, you know, I have to tell you. And you can even look it up for yourself, apples and oranges. So this is what I've been running into. Now, let's get to our day-to-day -day necessities. Milk, bread, groceries, all that stuff. It's pretty much the same. Um, milk, I mean, it all depends on now if you go buy a gallon of milk at like say Aldi or Save-A-Lot or something like that, I think it's averaging like $2.99 a gallon for whole milk and if you go to let's say a little higher end grocery store or something, you might pay $3.40, $3.49 or something, but you go back up in the northeast and let's say you go to Aldi or something, it's still comparable, you go to Price Chopper or Wegmans or one of the little different, you're going to pay a few cents more. So that's comparable. There's milk. Um, meat, poultry, um, fish. I've really found that basically everything is about the same than it was where I came from. And I haven't seen much of a difference. We're not spending any more down here and not really spending less because I have a son who's becoming a teenager and grocery costs are not going to be going down for me. Um, but the when it came to the everyday things, like gas, gas tends to be cheaper down here. Um, anytime I talk to friends or anybody else north, I mean, we're close, I mean, you have all the refineries down in Louisiana, down to Kobe, we're closer to that stuff, so gas prices tend to be cheaper down here. We're not running uh, the winter blends and stuff like that, like they have up north. Um, so gas tends to be cheaper. Right now we're averaging, so you can time this video, this is the end of October 2018. Um, we are averaging right now about 250 for regular gas. So compare that to where you are. You know, gas tends to be cheaper down here. Normal everyday stuff. How about car insurance? Now this was something that I learned back and forth when I first got down here. Um, one, I didn't shop around it. That was my first mistake. Um, but the thing I found with car insurance down here is it really depends on your zip code. Okay? Now, if you are in the Orlando metro area, you're going to pay a little bit more. Um, I hate to say this, Florida, but you are number one in the country, from what I heard on the radio in the last few days or whatever. Florida is number one in the country for road rage incidents. People are getting a little testy behind the wheel. And so, I mean, car insurance rates and agencies know the average accidents and fender benders and everything. So it really all depends on your driving record and your zip code. So if you live in Tampa or Orlando in the metro areas, you might pay more than if you lived in Ocala or up in a panhandle or Jacksonville, you know, outside of Jacksonville or something like that. Um, it also goes on your driving record. Now, I have multiple vehicles under my insurance, and I spent the first couple years under one agent when I first got down here, and I was getting boned. I was getting ripped off pretty good. Um, I got the runarounds, and I needed to shop my stuff around, and I shopped it around, and now I'm paying literally within a dollar or two the exact same amount I paid back up north for the same amount of vehicles. So, it's really comparable. Um, and I live, my zip code and everything's right in the Orlando, just outside Orlando. I'm, 
Osceola County, Orange County, right on the border area, but I'm in a very high tourist, high traffic area, so I'm assuming it's a little higher. So, in car insurance, that seems to be comparable. Now, if you have multiple accidents, or if you have DWIs, or basically you've been a total F-stick behind the wheel, you're going to pay more for insurance. If you have teenagers, if you have kids, or, or you know stuff like that insurance, you're going to pay more. The same thing you get where you live now, if you had any of that. Um, now, what else? Day-to-day -day stuff. Um, for any of you, for, you know, those bad habits, let's say, you know, tobacco products or, you know, alcohol, stuff like that, pretty much the same. The only, one thing I have noticed, and I honestly, I think it's just because of the area I live in, entertainment seems to be more expensive down here. I mean, yes, you have theme parks and all that, and that tends to be expensive, but besides the theme parks, uh, clubs, going out, um, dancing, doing all that. Or hitting the bar, not the bars, but um, movies. Movies are expensive everywhere. We all know that. I mean, that's why everyone was doing movie pass. And we all saw how that went. We worked out really good. Didn't work out too well for movie pass. They're still trying. Um, but I did find entertainment down here tends to be a little bit more, especially if you're near the theme park areas or counties and stuff like that. People tend to jack their prices up a little bit because there is a lot of that tourist traffic. So I have run into that. Um, home expenses, apartments. There's more. I get more questions on that all the time. Well, I looked into this. Me and my wife did just for giggles back and forth not too long ago. And we looked into it. Let's say the average comparable three-bedroom apartment down here can run you anywhere from about $1,400 to $2,500 a month. Okay? Sounds like a lot. $2,500 for a three-bedroom apartment. I was like, oof. I've never rented apartments. So, I mean, to me, that, I mean, that's like a couple, that's a whole lot of mortgage for a whole lot of house. But, you know, you have studio apartments. They was run anywhere from $600 up to about $1,100, $1,200. So, that's in the Orlando metro area, okay? Now, once you got outside of that area, prices tend to drop a little bit. And if you got closer to, like, say, Tampa or Sarasota or something, prices went bad. It's all in location. If you want that waterfront, you know, apartment complex, you're going to pay for it. Now, the thing is, I, we looked up average costs of apartments in Rochester and Syracuse, New York. Not Manhattan. Far up in New York. Rochester, Syracuse, you know, college cities. You know, not huge. You know, Orlando's got them beat. And we looked up their comparable prices, and they were all within about a hundred bucks. You're looking at between you're looking at studio apartments up there and one bedrooms for like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. You were looking at three bedrooms that were averaging the same thing, fourteen hundred to about twenty four hundred. Um, so comparable, it really is. So what I've been finding down here is where I get a lot of people that say that it's super expensive down here. Okay. What are they basing that on? Because they've lived here their whole life. They think it's super expensive. They don't know anything else. Um, or they think it's, or you get people like me that think a lot of things are cheaper and they're really not. They're about the same, honestly, from what we've been finding out over the years. Things stay about the same. Um, seafood's cheaper if you go out and catch it. <laughs> but... Um, what else? Day-to-day -day stuff. Let's see. Entertainment, driving, gas. You know, gas is cheaper. If you want to drive around a lot, and a lot of people down here tend to drive just to drive. Um, everyone's running the roads all the time. You do have a lot of toll roads down here, which do come in handy quite a bit. And you will pay for them. They're toll roads. I mean, come on. And if you're going to run toll roads, I mean, I get my toll authority bills a couple times a month because like right now I'm on a toll road one I don't want to deal with the afternoon congestion and traffic and everything on the open roads I'm going to get out here where I can just cruise zip right on through and get to where I want to go and it's worth that you know extra money to me every month and for any of you who say New York City, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're going from Jersey into the city back and forth every day, you know all about tolls. And it's not just there. I mean, California, every, everyone's got their toll roads. They have their pros. They have their cons. 
And so that's an added expense. Um, pay scales, pay scales down here. I That's another thing. Um, I hear that all the time. It's cheaper in Florida. No one pays anything, blah, blah, blah. And, okay, I'm not going to turn this into another job video. I have a couple of those. And you can watch those and check them out. But the thing is, is living above your means or not budgeting and blaming everything else around you, don't do it. Um, I spent this weekend going out, conventions and doing stuff with the family and spent a lot of money. And I'm not coming back to work Monday going, oh, you don't pay me enough. Well, no job ever pays you enough. Come on, be serious. Um, I just went out and spent a lot of money this weekend, so the bank account did not like me too well. Um, but pay scales down here, yeah, they tend to be lower, but it's honestly across the board, it's all what you're looking for. If you're an electrician, let's say you came from Pennsylvania, you're a union electrician with 20 plus years experience, 10,000 hours plus of schooling and everything, and come down here to some little outfit and expect them to pay you union wages and everything else, ain't gonna happen. Because one thing I have found down here, the employees I work around and stuff, is the schooling down here isn't up to snuff with what you see in the Northeast. It isn't. I'm sorry, Florida. Um, south, yeah, the schooling down here isn't. Basically, I've seen that from the trucking schools. With the company I work for, we have a lot of people come in for, you know, CDLAs and Bs. And a lot of these trucking schools nowadays, now granted, our company, we want people with multiple years experience, but it seems like a lot of these truck schools are just churning people out and just throwing them licenses so they can go work for an over-the-road hauler and drive in a straight line for a lot. And I have nothing against truck drivers. I have a CDLA myself. I know how to operate the stuff. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of just fly-by-night license and the, the way the drivers tend to drive. And they're flooding the market with it. It's kind of hard to find a good old school, just damn good driver sometimes. Um, but wages for that. I mean, you have, if you get into over-the-road trucking, for any of you over-the-road truckers, if you're any of you watching this, tell me if I'm wrong or not. I could be completely off my rocker on this one. But it seems like the per mile wages are going down and, and a couple people that I know that do over the road trucking tend to jump companies a lot or subcontract and get their own truck and subcontract and go for the better money because the wages are getting smaller because they're getting more, an influx of more just greenhorns, FNGs, you know, new drivers and stuff like that. Um, so they're finding their wages going down where they're going just more flooding in the market of drivers and of course if you go to the schools they're telling you it's the biggest industry and you need more drivers the problem is is you know you have it's like any job you have a hundred plus guys that are all looking for that same two jobs they're gonna pay you less they just whatever so i think i kind of went off on a tangent there didn't i but um no i mean professional that's the biggest thing i've seen down here that and i'm dealing with a lot of employees that don't want to work or seriously, I have employees, if they spent just as much time working as if they, than they did trying to get out of work or complaining about something, they'd probably make more money. One, they'd probably get more work done and be happier. But I don't know, I, I could do a whole nother video just on some of the work ethic these days. Um, sucks. But back to, I just rambled right off on that, didn't I? You didn't stop me. You're probably listening to this going, um, we were talking about expensive or cheap. I rambled right off. But, okay, let's get back to the point real quick. Uh, it's Monday, I'm rambling. I have found that the prices of a lot of things are comparable to where I came from in the Northeast. If, now, if you are in downtown Orlando, in downtown Manhattan, you're going to pay ex exorbitant Word, right? You know where I was going there. Prices are going to be super high, but if you go to Davenport, Claremont, you know, Winter Garden, you get in, you know, suburb areas outside of the metro areas, you're going to find your prices go down. So, on average, down here, from what I found out, a lot of it, your one bedroom apartments can range anywhere from 
$900 to about $1,500. Um, you can find three bedrooms that range anywhere from about $1,400 to $2,500. And it all depends on your area. It's like buying a home. And home prices down here, they're all over the place. Home prices are high everywhere in this country right now. It's a big market. That's why everyone wants to sell. That's why, you know... I got my, you know, the whole real estate license and doing that stuff, but it, they're going to, it's going to take a dive, I'm pretty sure, sometime in the near future, time to invest, but um, home prices, yeah, if I'm looking at a home in Bradington, in a nice development, gated and everything else, might be a smaller home, let's say 1,800 square foot, 2,000 square foot home or something, it might be $350,000, $400,000. Sounds nuts. Location, location, location. You go 10 miles down the road, 5 miles down the road, find a home that's 24, 2,500 square feet, it might only be 180, 200 grand. It's all in location. But home prices on general are up higher, and that's why we're still renting right now. And we've got a good deal where we are. We're renting and, you know, kind of enjoying it. So, I hope you guys have gotten something out of this. My general consensus, I just cannot talk. Those are big words. I'm not very smart up here. Um, can't do the big words. Um, but my general thoughts on it are that it's not really that much different than where I came from and what I've seen around the country. Um, it all depends on where you shop. It all depends on where you live. It all depends on you. Um, we found with us shopping, we you know we shop at multiple different grocery or shopping outlets, anything from the big box stores all the way down to Aldi to Publix, to that because we know like Publix, I do not go to Publix for my meat. Prices are a little higher. There's a couple smaller um, local um, markets, Latino market, you know some of the uh, Latin markets down here to get some of your poultry or the bomb where you can just clean up on your poultry. But I also go to Sam's Club, BJ's, Costco, stuff like that, where if I find my chicken breasts on sale, one of them, let's say at like a buck sixty-nine a pound for bone and skinless chicken breasts, it was a hell of a buy. I'm going to stock up. And it, it's all on how you deal with the stuff and take care of it. So I'm sure I'm going to get people's... If you have... If you've run into things down here that you think are more expensive or cheaper than someplace else leave them in the comments down below let's let's talk about it let's go back and forth let's see what everybody else has to say but i can honestly say in the five plus years i've been down here that i haven't seen a big lot of difference gas is cheaper um entertainment depending on what you like to do tends to be higher especially in this general area around the orlando area because of the mouse um Entertainment things tend to be a little bit more expensive. The clubs, the bars, uh, the dance clubs, things like that. Um, your vices, those are pretty much about the same. Day-to-day -day groceries, haven't seen a hike. Well, I'm starting to see a hike, but it has nothing to do with grocery prices. It has to do with a teenage boy um, in the house. And I'm sorry, Mom, I know you had three of them. And I don't know how you did it. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys got something out of the video. I will see you guys in the next video. Now, please make sure to hit that little notification bell. I think it's right down here someplace. YouTube has been kind of mm, iffy about getting notifications out to everybody. But make sure to hit that bell um, for the videos coming up. I'm getting back at it. I know I spent about a week there. It was a little lax. People, people were sick. Life happens. But it, also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I just tell it like it is day-to-day -day life, not all the fun editing, all that weird stuff, you know, everything else, just day-to-day -day life, suburban dad living down here in Florida. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Rock your life, everything else, and just have fun and smile. Enjoy it. See you guys later.